Bonjour, everyone. So you want to be an artist in Paris? Today, I'm going to talk about four ways that you can turn your dream into a reality. And the last way that I talk about comes with the possibility of becoming a French citizen. So if you're not only dreaming of working as an artist in France, but actually becoming French, be sure to stick around to the end. This episode is focused on non-EU citizens. If you are a citizen of the European Union, well, you can just move to Paris or France right now, assuming you have the economic means, and start up your life as an artist in France. Also, these four ways are not the only ways you can manage to go to France, but they're the four ways I thought would be the most relevant to my audience. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Aurora and I've lived in nine countries as an adult. On this channel, I've been sharing my journey as an artist. For the past couple of years, I was pretty tethered to California, not just because of the pandemic, but also because I was in the adoption process in my journey to motherhood. Now that everything is finalized on the legal side, I have a lot more freedom of movement and I'm looking forward to sharing my research with you and how you can make your international living and travel dreams a reality if you're a nomadic spirit like me. Okay, let's get into it. The first path to going to France to become an artist is what I will call the more established artist track you can obtain what is known as a passport talent visa for profession artistique et culturelle and sorry for my terrible french okay in english that is the skilled residence permit artistic and cultural profession you can do this as either an employee or a freelancer so if you have a job in the arts in france then that is definitely one of the ways you can go to France. But what I think might be a little bit more interesting for my audience is the freelancer path. One of the good things about this visa is it's good from anywhere between three months and a four year maximum period. What you'll need to provide along with, you know, general biographic data to get this kind of visa is one proof that you are an artist. So this might include your artistic CVs, maybe some reference letters, newspaper articles, anything that can actually prove to the French government that you are indeed an established artist. Second, you're going to need to prove that you have what they call engagements for the entire length of the visa you are seeking. So this might be some kind of informal contracts with galleries or even commissions. So if you have customers in France or you can obtain them. That's one way you can have contracts with French customers. You can have contracts with galleries or maybe even some academic institutions. But basically your visa is probably going to be limited to the length of time that you can prove you have these pre-arranged engagements. Finally, you're going to have to prove that you have financial resources that are coming from these activities. And those need to equate to 70% of full time at minimum wage. On the government sites, you can research what that is. At present, it is around 1,400 euros per month. The exchange rate is constantly changing, so I'm not going to add that information in. The euro is currently worth a bit more than the dollar. So that way is great for established artists, including fine artists that may be able to have some sort of relationship with a gallery or might already be gaining commissions or perhaps they even have some sort of residency that's paid with a museum in France. It's absolutely possible to get a visa and live out your dream as an artist in France if you are a professional artist. Have no fear, however, if you're not up to that level quite yet or if you don't have the contacts in France to convince the French government that you're going to be able to make money from French clients necessarily right away. Because the second option is what I'm going to call the artist entrepreneur option. France offers visas 
for a period of up to one year for entrepreneurs. This can be an entrepreneur that's either going to start a registered business or is going to be a freelancer. This isn't limited to the express terms of the Passport Talent Visa. So you don't have to go as far to convince the French government that you are an established artist with specific contracts in France. What you do have to do is either propose a business plan to start a business in France and provide the paperwork to show that your business is going to be viable. Or for those of you who might be doing, for example, graphic design work online for clients you find on Fiverr, Upwork, or any other site, or maybe you're running a very successful print on demand shop and you can convince the government that you're going to have a steady stream of income from your art or perhaps some other freelance activity you're doing and then you make your art alongside it, then you also can come to France as a freelancer. Now for this visa, you have to prove that you're going to make a little more than the 70% of full-time minimum wage. You have to show you'll be able to make at least the equivalent of full-time minimum wage. So that's going to be about the 1400 euro. It's going up all the time. But I think a lot of people, especially if you're doing freelance graphic design, would be able to meet this fairly low economic threshold. If you're coming from a country like the United States, Canada, Australia, then you're probably earning that much anyway. Now, I don't know if you're earning it from your art, but as I said, you can also use this freelance visa for any other economic activity that you are undertaking that falls under this freelance categories. There's some caveats if you are working in a regulated profession, for example, you need some sort of professional license then you are going to have to prove to the French government that you are complying with the licensing requirements. But for right now, we're just sticking to artists. So there's not going to be some licensing requirement for artists. So if you are making approximately 1,400 euros from your art, then you can apply as a freelancer to go live and work as an artist in France. The third option for those of you who may not even be able to swing that, or are just a little bit overwhelmed with the idea of all the paperwork, or perhaps you want to give life in France a test run before you go set up a business there. And this is what I call the digital nomad or a flexpat path. And flexpat is a term, I don't know who coined it, but I've heard it quite a bit. You are not a full-time expat or expatriate living in another country, but maybe you are expensive spending extended times in those other countries. So maybe you're going to keep your house and your life wherever you are, but you want to go to France and be an artist for part of the year. Well, the good news for many of you is that citizens from a lot of different countries can go to France for up to 90 days with no kind of visa whatsoever. I know there's going to be some changes where you have to register a trip to Europe in the near future, but you don't have to apply for any kind of fancy visa, at least not at present. Some of the countries that are a part of this visa waiver program include the United States, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Israel, and as I said, many other countries. So if you just want to go to France and sit out in an outdoor cafe and make beautiful art and go to the Centre Pompidou and be inspired, walk by the Louvre, watch the people going by, drink a cup of coffee at a sunny cafe. You can do this in France for up to three months, up to 90 days. And you don't need any special permission to make this happen. Okay, last but not least, I'm going to share the most, what I consider a magical route to becoming an artist in France. This fourth option is to obtain a student visa and go study in France. Now, some of you might be saying, this is a pretty obvious route, but actually this option comes with a lot of bonuses that you might not be aware of. 
if you haven't been diving deep into the research like me. So first of all, not only does France allow you to work up to 20 hours a week while you're studying, but unlike several European countries, this work can be freelancing. So in some European countries, if you decide to go study and you want to work, you have to find a local employer. And if your dream is to go to France and be an artist, unless you're perhaps taking a specific art course, then getting the type of jobs you might be able to get if you don't know a lot of French might not be furthering your career as an artist. If you are washing dishes or teaching English and studying, you might not have a lot of time left for art. But here you can spend your 20 hours or a portion thereof working on your art careers. So you can teach online art courses. You could go do some work in a gallery. Perhaps you could have a print on demand shop. I'm going to say you can sell your art, but you definitely do have to look in any place you're going to sell your art. Even if you're in a specific county in a state, for example, in the United States. There are some special legal requirements for direct selling, but you can definitely take up commercial activities in the arts in France while you're studying, but it gets better. Not just can you spend these 20 hours working on your art career while studying, but after you graduate, you can apply for a special visa of up to 12 months that allows you to either seek a job or start up a business. So if you've spent some time studying in France and hopefully improving that French, then you're going to be even better off at the end of that program to be able to make a career as an artist or do art related employment. And you're going to have all of those connections and friends from having spent between one and four years studying in France. So that's really great. You'll get 12 months afterwards to set up your own business or gain a job in the field of your choice, including the arts. What's more, there's even more good news. If you study a program that's of two years in length and your dream is to become a French citizen, well, after two more years of living and working in France, you can already apply to be a citizen. That's right. After a total of four years, you can already be on your path to citizenship. Now, there are some caveats. I've done a lot of reading on people that have tried to go this path. And they say sometimes after you make the application, you might be still waiting some time before you get the approval and the approval might not necessarily be completely automatic. But if you were very dedicated to becoming a French citizen, this is a way to expedite it. But even if you only do a master's program of, for example, one year's pathways to French citizenship are quicker than in a lot of countries like Italy, where it's often 10 years unless you're married to an Italian citizen or have Italian descent or several other countries in the EU. So if you're interested in being an EU citizen, remember French citizenship comes with the benefit that you'll be able to live anywhere in the EU and work legally. This student visa route can become a great path. And in case you're not sure you actually want to study anything besides studying French, I've been in touch with one one year's master's program that I think is going to be of interest to some of you. And this is the MBA in arts and culture management run by IESA. And I'm going to have a link to the program below. What's really excellent about this program, at least for my viewers is one, the program is fully in English. It's only a one year commitment. So if you want to get back to working right away, this is not going to take as much time as a four year, for example, bachelor's pro program. And the MBA is the master's in arts and cultural management. So you're going to get training on how to start your art business. And you're going to be able to do a test run of your art business or businesses during the program. So that's going to set you up to immediately in the 12 months afterwards, be able to apply for an entrepreneur visa and stay on for the next X number of years until you either decide to leave or decide to apply to become a citizen of France and stay. And while some of these programs, including the one I'm mentioning, might not be that cheap, 
Some of you might be able to access student loans in your own country. So there may be options to make this happen if you really want to make it happen. With all of these options, you are advised to always seek the most up-to-date information and you may want to consult with a professional tax or immigration advisor in France. This episode is not meant to give you legal or tax advice, but just give you some ideas of how you can make your dream a possibility. So what about you? Are you interested in becoming an artist in France? Have you become an artist in France? I'd love to hear in the comments below. And if this episode was of value to you, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. And until next time, keep creating.